It's my pleasure on behalf of Dunwoody's Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, alumni, and soon-to-be graduates to welcome you to Dunwoody College of Technology's commencement ceremony celebrating the class of 2021. I want to thank all of you for joining us for this special virtual event. Today we have graduates from all eight of our academic programs, including automotive, business, computer technology, which includes our first graduates from the cybersecurity program, construction sciences and building technology, design and graphics technology, health sciences, robotics and manufacturing, and the School of Engineering, including our first graduates from the software engineering program. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to recognize and thank any veterans or active duty military personnel who are watching. Thank you for your service. It's my pleasure to introduce our student speaker for today's commencement, Bex Wells. Bex is a graduate of the Welding Technology Program and an Academic Excellence Award winner for the Manufacturing and Robotics Department. Bex has worked in the construction industry and is a licensed contractor in Montana and moved to the Twin Cities last year so she could attend Dunwoody. Bex also loves art and uses her welding skills to create metal sculptures. Please welcome Bex Wells. When I was a sophomore in high school, I signed up for a welding class. As classes were getting started, I checked my schedule only to find I wasn't registered for the class, even though there were still two available spots. Confused by why I wasn't registered and thinking it must have been a simple mistake, I went to my counselor and inquired about why I wasn't in the class. She told me it was best to leave these spots open for the boys, and if I wanted to take a different class, culinary studies had open spots. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Leave the welding to the boys and get in the kitchen. Even then, I knew who I was enough to not let my gender determine my goals. I wasn't gonna take no for an answer. I marched into the principal's office to argue my case. After a lot of back and forth, the counselor finally agreed I could get into the class if I did a walkthrough of the welding shop to prove that I knew what the equipment was. Not only did I correctly identify the equipment, I got the highest grade in the class. I've been fighting and advocating for myself my entire life, realizing at a young age that if I didn't speak up for what I wanted, no one would. My gender has put me at odds in all the trades I've worked in. I've had plumbers objectify me while working construction, customers who refused to let me do my job in the lumberyard because they insisted I wasn't capable or strong enough. Countless situations where people insisted that they knew me better than I knew myself and that women could never be what a man could. I learned at a young age to be my own advocate, to fight for my seat at the table and when I wasn't even allowed in the room, to make my own room with my own table. My message to my fellow graduates is this. Other people's doubts of you are just that. Their doubts, not yours. If someone tells you not to try or to give up so you don't fail, remind them you are whole despite your failures. It's time for us to stop apologizing for being ourselves. It's time to stand our ground because other people telling us that you can't is not an option. When it comes to our dreams, our goals, and our lives, it's time to speak up and speak louder than ever before. It's time to take up space no matter how many people tell you you're too much, too loud, or too anything. Advocating for me and refusing to say no pushed me to move a quarter of the way across the country to a city I knew nothing about and during a global pandemic to attend a school where the website read, born to do. Born to do. We're born to do what sets our soul on fire. Don't wait for someone to stoke your fire. That inner flame is yours. Be your own hype person. Be the center of your own universe and fight. Fight for yourself. Fight for your beliefs. Fight to be heard. I urge every single one of you to find that passion no matter what. Because class of 2021, we just did this despite COVID, despite the odds, despite the doubters, and despite our past failures. We can do anything because we were born to do. Great job, thank you, Bex. You have represented the other graduates well, and we wish you all the best. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Mike Hansen. Mike is a 1985 electrical construction and maintenance graduate from Dunwoody. He has a bachelor's degree in history from the University of Minnesota and an MBA from the Carlson School of Management. 
He is a licensed master electrician in Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska. In 1979, Hansen first started working in the electrical industry as a summer helper for Sterling Electric. Six years later, he started at Hunt Electric as an assistant project manager. During the next 10 years, Hansen moved up through the company and was pro promoted to president of Hunt Electric in 1996. In 2001, Hansen became majority shareholder of the company. Then in 2016, he led the company through the transition to employee ownership, reaching 100% ESOP in 2021. Under his leadership, Hunt Electric grew from 50 million to 500 million in annual revenue. Hansen currently serves as board chair for Hunt. Over the years, Mike has been involved in numerous civic and volunteer activities. He's a former governor, president, and board member of the National Contractors Association, St. Paul Chapter, emeritus representative and past president of the Federated Electric Contractors, a former trustee and investment committee chair for Hunger Solutions Minnesota, and a member of the Minnesota State Board of Electricity. He has served as the past vice chair for Children's Hospital Foundation, past chairman of the Fresh Weather Society, and as a trustee at Dominey College of Technology. I'd like to thank President Wagner for the generous introduction and for the opportunity to be here today. It is truly an honor and a privilege. I'd like to welcome Dunwoody faculty and staff, family and friends, and especially the Dunwoody class of 2021. Congratulations. As I begin today, I've learned that it is important to manage expectations. So I wanna share some background. When I agreed to give this speech, I thought back to my graduation. I've been fortunate to participate in several. I also asked my wife, Shelley, to think about her experience and memories of her past graduation ceremonies. The truth is we couldn't remember who the commencement speakers were or much of what they said. Next, I turned to the internet and found that there are many excellent commencement speeches on YouTube. Tim Cook, Oprah, Denzel Washington, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michelle Obama, Admiral McRaven, Elon Musk, and even Steve Jobs. Now the truth is, not every speech was great. Some were just okay. Well, my goal is to be somewhere on that continuum from great to okay. If you wanna hear a great speech, try YouTube. What I learned watching those speeches was the most shared lessons that they learned during their lives and careers. And I plan to do that. But first, there are two big things I need to acknowledge. The Dunwoody class of 2021 had to deal with two major things, a COVID pandemic and social upheaval and unrest. For a college that is based on a model of learn by doing, not being able to do, not being able to be together in class and lab is a huge issue. Much of the academics can and was adapted for online learning, but the effort to figure out how to maintain the learn by doing model wasn't as simple, but you did it. Figuring out how to make kits so that the lab could go home, running multiple labs so students and faculty could work and learn safely, all the adjustments and adaptations that you made are truly amazing. And in the course of figuring this out, we went through the traumatic events with the killing of George Floyd and the protests and unrest that followed. Acknowledging the seriousness and importance of these events, events that are still ongoing today, you all continued to move forward. Congratulations. This is what we expect from Dunwoody grads. Okay, so now on to the lessons. The first lesson I call finish the job. I grew up in Southwest Minneapolis. One of my chores growing up was mowing the lawn. This meant cutting the grass, trimming the yard, sweeping the sidewalks. For this, my father would pay me $1.25. At least that's how much I think it was. My older brother reminds me that he only got a dollar, and I'm sure it wasn't $2, because my father was too cheap for that. Anyway, one Saturday when I was about 12 years old, I'd made plans with several friends to attend the matinee movie. One of my friend's parents was going to drive us, and I had to be ready when they came by to pick me up. I also needed the $1.25 from cutting the grass to pay for the movie. Well, you can see where this is headed. 
I got started a little late, and after cutting the grass and trimming, I went to the house to clean up and asked my dad for the money. He asked if I was done, and I explained that I had done everything except the sweeping. He told me he'd pay me when I was done. I explained that I didn't have time and that I would finish when I got home. He explained that he would pay me when I was finished. He said, I don't pay for half a job. I told him I needed the money for the movie. He wouldn't budge. I pleaded with my mom, who wasn't having any part of this conversation. Well, I missed the movie, finished the job, got paid, and was mad at my dad for what seemed like a very long time. Now when I think about it, I'm so very thankful for the lesson my father taught me. The people I see who are successful, the people that I admire, are all people that do what they say. They finish the job. The next lesson I call volunteer for something unpleasant. When I was in junior high, we still had what were called vocational classes. Wood shop, metal shop, auto shop, and we also had printing or graphic arts. I really liked the printing class, so when I had the chance, I became an aide. You did this instead of a study hall. Back then, we actually set type and printed things on a platen press. Of course, we also did lithography and had offset presses. One of the things every old school print shop had was a hell box. This was a box with all the old lead type that had been used and not sorted back into the type cases. Sorting this was a boring and tedious job, so the hell box could get pretty full. All of the aides would avoid this task. Well, one day our teacher, Larry Brockle, asked the aides, and there were four or five of us, to clean up the hell box. Well, we all started to walk away, find something else, pretend we were busy. When Mr. Brockle asked a second time, I'm not sure why, but I volunteered to clean up the hell box. That's when our teacher called us all together and informed us that he had decided in advance that anyone volunte who volunteered would get an A for the semester. Now, this doesn't seem like much now, but back then it was a big deal. So I learned that stepping up and volunteering for an unpleasant task has its rewards. The third lesson is much simpler, but I think even more powerful. It's called make a list. Now you're gonna say this is pretty simple. Make a list of the tasks to be completed. This works in your job, but it also it works at home with your family. Make a list of the tasks to be completed, but here's the important part. Study your list and identify the least desirable task. Then do it first. Always do the worst first. If you do this, you'll find that the rest of your day goes great. You won't spend your day thinking and agonizing about the unpleasant task left undone. You'll be happier and more productive. The fourth lesson is pretty simple as well, and it's really just a reminder. We all want to have a career or job that we enjoy. We want to go to work and do something meaningful that gives us satisfaction. But this doesn't mean that every day will be great, that every day will be fun. There's a reason it's called work. There's a reason you get paid. If you would come and do it for free, we call that a hobby. Find work, a career that you enjoy, and that gives you satisfaction. But remember, not every day will be great. My fifth and final lesson I call courage. Now, because you're a Dunwoody grad, I know you have the talent to be successful. Because you're Dunwoody grads, I know you have the training and education to be successful. But this leads me to a question. The question isn't about success. The question is about failure. Do you have the courage to fail? I know I have failed many more times than I've succeeded. They say Thomas Edison failed more than a thousand times trying to create the incandescent lamp, what non-electricians call the light bulb. He didn't quit. He, like everyone else, like me, learned from each failure. I think we learn much more from failure than success. There was a time in my career when my job was to sell Hunt Electric. 
I would go out and visit with potential customers, general contractors and business owners that needed electricians, but they didn't currently use Hunt Electric. As anyone who has sold for a living knows, you're going to fail more than you're going to succeed. My goal was to get one sale from every six attempts, five no's or failures to every one yes. No one wants to fail, but have the courage to fail and learn. This will lead to success. Now I'm getting close to the end. This is a speech called a commencement speech. We're here celebrating your graduation, but we use the term commencement. To commence means to begin. Well, what have you begun? Well, to start, you've just joined an elite group, the Dunwoody alumni. You will find over the course of your life how important this can be. I was hired at Hunt Electric as a project manager trainee when I graduated from Dunwoody by a Dunwoody alumnus. Your education and talent will lead you to success. If you choose, you'll be a leader at work. Many Dunwoody graduates are entrepreneurs. One of you someday will be giving this speech. So first things first. Celebrate. You've achieved something special and important under difficult circumstances. Remember to thank everyone that helped you get to this moment. Then commence. Do what successful people do. Finish the job. Volunteer for something unpleasant and difficult. Make a list and do the hard things first. And as you commence, remember to have the courage to fail. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. Once again, congratulations. Mike, thank you so much for your words of wisdom for our graduates. Congratulations, graduates. Today's commencement ceremony marks a great accomplishment and something which you should take great pride. You have taken a giant step to improve the quality of your life through the immediate jobs and great careers that Dominion Education makes possible. Enjoy the significance of what today represents. Your immediate family, and your Dunwoody family, the alumni, trustees, faculty, and staff share your pride and excitement. You know, we hear from employers that hire Dunwoody graduates that they hire Dunwoody graduates first. We have employers tell us their best employees are Dunwoody graduates. Employers tell us how Dunwoody graduates are ready to hit the ground running day one. When you tell people that you attended Dunwoody, you'll hear about our great reputation, as I do when I talk about Dunwoody. Dunwoody's reputation was built by the alumni that came before you. It was built by men and women who graduated from Dunwoody and went out into the workforce and immediately contributed to their companies and helped those companies thrive by being the best technician, most creative problem solvers, and the go-to person when things weren't working. It was built by alumni who worked their way into leadership positions. It was built by alumni who started their own companies. It was built by the commitment to excellence, hard work, and discipline that Dunwoody alumni exhibit in every job they complete. The Dunwoody legacy is evident around our city. From the buildings Dunwoody alumni designed and built, to the companies they've started, to the products they've manufactured, to the designs they've created, and the projects they've managed. It's humbling and overwhelming to look at the impact Dunwoody alumni have had and continue to have on our neighborhoods, our communities, our state, and our nation. And now, you carry a responsibility to hold fast to the values a Dunwoody education represents and to take with you the challenge of perpetuating Dunwoody's great reputation through your actions and accomplishments. Are you ready to meet that challenge? We have all the confidence that you will succeed. Think about all you've overcome. You have now endured over a year of challenges associated with a pandemic and the radical changes in how we live, how we go to school, and how we do just about everything. You watched the challenges of social injustice as Minneapolis and Minnesota became the epicenter of the call for equity, all while you were trying to finish your education. You not only endured these crises, you overcame the challenges, stayed focused, and finished your education. That's why we all have confidence in you. What you did to finish your education, the discipline, dedication and commitment you demonstrated have prepared you for success in a very different and difficult world. And now the world needs you more than ever. We need you to keep industry moving, to help economies restart, 
to be the talent so many companies need so we as a state and nation have the capacity for economic growth. We need you, as so many Domini alumni have, to go into a world and help repair what is broken, to use your education to build stronger communities and a better world. I know you will live up to this charge because you have been equipped with a Domini education and you have demonstrated the ability to overcome significant challenges. You now represent the best Domini has to offer and your actions and accomplishments will build Dunwoody's reputation for the next generation of Dunwoody students. We look forward with great anticipation to hearing about your successes. Before we begin the conferring of degrees, I want to recognize several honors and awards that have been bestowed upon the graduates. Dunwoody's Alumni Association recognizes the importance of attendance in the world of work and believes that regular and reliable attendance is an essential part of developing good work habits and should always be a cornerstone of Dunwoody's educational model. As such, Dunwoody's Alumni Association established the Attendance Award. To qualify for these awards, students must attend 98% or more of their class sessions during their entire Dunwoody career. This year, 146 students achieved this award. Congratulations. We recognize students who achieve outstanding grade point average through Latin honors. Cum laude recognizes students with a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Magnum cum laude for grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89, and summa cum laude for students who achieve a grade point average of 3.9 or higher on a four point scale. This year, 181 students received these honors. Congratulations on your outstanding academic performance. Phi Theta Kappa is the International Honor Society for two year colleges. Membership in Phi Theta Kappa requires members to maintain a 3.5 grade point average and members are expected to develop leadership skills and engage in community service. 16 graduates are members of this prestigious society. Congratulations on your commitment to the tenets of Phi Theta Kappa. Finally, Domody also selects students each year for its academic excellence, community service, and student leadership awards. Congratulations on your demonstrated excellence and commitment to academic achievement in our campus community. I also want to recognize all the alumni who are watching today. We know that some of our current students have family members and friends who also attended Dunwoody. At this time, and on behalf of Dunwoody College of Technology, I am honored to begin the conferring of degrees for the class of 2021. We will first award the certificates. President Wagner, these candidates for graduation have been approved by the faculty and have met or are about to meet all of the requirements so that they may be awarded a certificate. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Dunwoody College of Technology and under authority granted by the Minnesota Office of Higher Education and the Higher Learning Commission, and upon completion of the required curriculum under the direction of Dunwoody faculty, I now confer upon you the certificate listed in the commencement program and all the privileges and obligations pertaining thereto. Next, are the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree. President Wagner, these candidates for graduation have been approved by the faculty and have met or are about to meet all of the requirements so that they may be awarded their Associate of Applied Science degree. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Dunwoody College of Technology and under authority granted by the Minnesota Office of Higher Education and the Higher Learning Commission, and upon completion of the required curriculum under the direction of Dunwoody faculty, I now confer upon you the Associate of Applied Science degree listed in the commencement program. And with that degree, all the privileges and obligations pertaining thereto. Finally, the bachelor's degree candidates. President Wagner, these candidates for graduation have been approved by the faculty and have met or are about to meet all of the requirements so that they may be awarded a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Architecture degree. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Dunwoody College of Technology and under authority granted by the Minnesota Office of Higher Education and the Higher Learning Commission, and upon completion of the required curriculum under the direction of Dunwoody faculty, I now confer upon you the Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Architecture degree listed in the commencement program. And with that degree, all the privileges and obligations pertaining thereto. We will now award the diplomas. And now the graduates from Automotive Collision, Repair, and Refinishing. Patrick Thomas Brown. 
Kenneth Earl Higgins. Holly Lynn Isdall. Isaiah Christian Knutton. Cassie Marie McMahon. Wyatt John Miller. Blair Thomas Seats. Tang Tao. And now the graduates from Automotive Service Technology. Hunter James Aman. Tobin Joel Dehan. Robert William Mikoski. Nolan Marcus Pertula. Cole Robert Rottenberg. Joseph Jeffrey Reichert. Ryan Joseph Robinson. Eleazar Emmanuel Rott. Arian M. Staffan. James Eric Talmadge. Jamie Andrew Tomzik. Trayton Eugene Vincent. Evan Robert Wright. Z. Wa Wan. And now the graduates from Honda Professional Automotive Career Training. Samuel Adam Germain. And now the graduates from the Mopar Career Automotive Program. Tyler Anthony Jeefer. Sammy Nigeto Elgega. And now the graduates from Toyota Technician Training and Education Network. Wesley Avigal Heights. Samuel Elijah Holloway. Joseph Michael Muskie. Daniel Alexander Ortez. Ethan Zachary Ryder. Nicholas Patrick Ward. Uh, to all the automotive graduates, congratulations. You're now joining a long list of distinguished alumni from our automotive program over the last 106 years. Uh, you each have worked very, very hard to get where you're at and for all this achievement and your dedication shows. I'd personally like to thank each and one of you for entrusting your education with us and allow us, allowing us to be part of your life. A bittersweet time for all of us and we're very happy for your achievement, but we're sad to see you go. So congratulations, graduates. And now the graduates from business. Connor Christopher Alexi Jr. And now the graduates from business management and leadership. Bryce John Bachman. Christine Lee Benoit. Danelle Sergei Berlicu. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Dunwoody College, I want to congratulate all the graduates from business management and leadership on this milestone and wish you the best as you begin your career. Congratulations. Yay, congrats, students. Yay. Good job. And now, the graduates from Computer Networking Systems. Levi Jaron Amundsen, Lars Richard Andersland. Taylor J. Andreessen. Jacob David Isik. Connor Christian Borres. Brendan Zupfor Brown. Jedediah Chang. Alexander Frederick Colby. Yona Gabriel Cooperman. Thomas John Young. Rodman 
Augustin Landy. Jeffrey Joseph Malekade. Brandon Stephen Perez Garcia. Giovanni Javian Perez Laroque. Noah James Roddy. Voncher McLeod Shung. Jonathan Tan Sorovong. Parker Lee Huberty Walker. Anthony James Will. Neil Vidad Yimbo. Tyler John Sahuranik. Emmanuel Alonzo Johnson. And now, the graduates from Computer Networking Technician. Jason Michael Stahn. Ian Price Smith. And now, the graduates from Computer Systems Analysis. Paxton Daniel Chase. Will James Schultzenberg. And now, the first graduating class from cybersecurity. Grant Bo Besch. Dustin Joseph Froberg. Christopher Lee Parson. Ryan Michael Cedarberg. Andrew James Stedman. And now, the graduates from Web Development. Trey Brandon Dupay. Derek Allen Johnson. Stephanie Lynn Johnson. And now, the graduates from Web Programming and Database Development. Matthew Joseph Ailes. Joseph James Brenny. Randy Chan. Abdesto Che. Cody Patrick Driver. Hunter Dolan Femright. Donovan Wesley Hill. Liam Christian Lynch. Raphael Christian Magnabut. Anna Patrice Nelson. Andrew Jacob Siegworth. On behalf of the computer technology faculty, I want to wish you congratulations on completing your degree from Dunwoody College of Technology. And welcome to the esteemed group of Dunwoody alumni. Me and the faculty are very proud of your achievements. You should be very proud as well. Congratulations, graduates. Nice job. And now, the graduates of Architectural Drafting and Design. Davis Anthony Bach. Michael Charles Berg. Monica Guadalupe Blue. Luis Enrique Campoverde Loyosa. Samuel Arthur Cooperman. Drew Michael DeCamp. Latoya Natasha Dennis. Jacob Hans DeWitt. Robert James Durkey. Thomas Harrison Grammond. Melissa Ann Hall. Jordan Scott Hine. Anastasia Amelia Hensel. Thomas Daniel Herring. Derek Jacob Isaacson. Luke Kenneth Jonas. Preston Jeffrey Jones. Nakayan Kim. Samuel Lopez Ruiz. 
Sierra Monet Love. Elizabeth K. Merwin. Andrew John Northrup. Vakash Ramrotten. Shelby Grace Reynolds. Trinidad Jacqueline Ruiz Gomez. Mia Anne Marie Suze. Elizabeth Jane Thomas. Andre John Thorkelson. Kale Alexander Tomlin. Cole Anthony Veit. And now the graduates of architecture. Jacob Christian Baudet. Logan Alexander Brandis. Cole Robert Charpentier. Serena Marie Dubiel. Nathan Robert Alaya Wheeler. Benjamin Rodney Fierstad. Alexis Flores. Marina Fuchs. Hans Arabit Frederick. Eric Michael Hall. Omar Rajin Taraji Jumala. Michael Richard Lenz. Fuchi Mua. Nathaniel Taylor Nelson. Mitchell James Lee Olson. Chi Lor Lang Chi Tao. John Edward Tuggle. Crispin Kong Bang. Garrett Van Rokel. Johnny Yang. Congratulations, graduates from the Architectural Drafting and Design and Bachelor of Architecture programs. On behalf of the faculty members, I want to congratulate you on this milestone and wish you the best as you begin your career. And now the graduates from Construction Management. Carlos Andreas Acosta Guillo. Joshua Aaron Bame. Tyler Scott Fish. Matthew Christopher Hackman. Alex Wayne McCleskey. Zachary Gage Nasland. Nathaniel Kaiser Schmidt. Aaron Lee Schutz. Kyle Marcus Sherry. Katrina Janelle Smith. Zachary Michael Tangjamin. Larley Vang. And now the graduates from Construction Project Management. Matthew Joseph Aguilar. Blaine Joseph Benick. Barrent Michael Blaney. Anna Ardith Bunn. Allison McKenna Donut. Hunter Aaron Ehlers. Mabali Isong. Charles Michael Estes. Austin Stephen Fayola. Joseph Zine Grant. Alex Ray Hall. 
James Dean Hansen. Owen Gregory Ollie. Joshua Michael Haw. Alexis Anne Marie Jackson. Samantha Elizabeth Joy. Anthony Richard Krenz. Mason David Kulix. Garrett Michael Hamner Lachance. Jesse Allen Lemaire. Isaac John Lindbergh. Ethan Paul Mayoni. Tyler Christian McCoy. Sandra Luce Messino Ashoa. John Thomas Patterson Clark. Henry Benjamin Pierce. Manuel Eduardo Placencia Blanco. Robert James Prescorn. Nicholas John Putnam. Austin Joseph Rorick. Luke Harlan Rogers. Omaru Sahabi. Ronald John Schurer. Mason Luther Tui. And now the graduates from the Construction Project Management Certificate. Kia Lena Arndt. James Walter Callison III. Alan Joe Geisenkotter. Inta Halverson. Douglas Carlton Hayden. Anthony Brian Ring. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Dunwoody College of Technology, we'd like to celebrate the graduates for construction management and construction project management. Congratulations to you, the class of 2021. Yay! 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 Congratulations. Good job, everybody! And now the graduates of Electrical Construction and Maintenance. Ryan Walker Abelson. Gage Alvin Oslaben. Michael Scott Anchetta. Parker David Anderson. Patrick Joseph Ashwell. Shell Johan Jorgen. Zachary Robert Brown. Garrett Hakuin Carver. Charles John Gilbert. Samantha Ray Gilbert. Clayton James Ginkle. Orpheus M. Gray. Kamal Kishan Hadley. Derek Morgan Hendrickson. Merlin Roger Hibbs. Blaine Kenneth Holmes. Charles Anthony Jarvis. Wyatt Robert Johnson. Andrew David Kleinhans. Derek Alexander Knapp. John Henry Krogman. Maxwell James Kwan. Joshua Joel Lewis. John Stephen Lundeberg. Billy Ray Megana. Elliot Raymond Malark. Duncan Alexander McConnell. Justin David Allen Melberg. 
Jack Aaron Meshbesher. Thomas Frank Mateel. Maxwell Costa Miller. John David Mitchell. Michael Kieran Moray. Eric William Nyhart. Jacob Andrew Park. Maverick James Patterson. Seth John Peters. David Dugan Polak. Travis Michael Powers. James Joseph Prammel. Grant Jeffrey Richter. Stella Roseanne Robinson. Alexander Rojas. Swanson Sok Sanders. Gregory Calvin Shep. Jerison James Shimizu. Jonah James Small. Henry Paul Souchere. Joseph David Stinson. Travis James Stajern. Benjamin John Swanson. Edward Charles Vandenboom. Jack Thomas Vossen. Patrick G. Wakefield. Charles William Werdeen. And now the graduates of Electrical Construction Design and Management. Matthew Allen Johnson. Wade Allen Nelson. Andrew Nathan Rusted. Zachary Allen Zerbus. On behalf of Dunwoody College um, Electrical Programs, I want to wish a congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations, everyone. And now the graduates from Facilities Operations and Management. Matthew Jerome Brands. On behalf of the Facility Operations and Management Program at Dunwoody, we'd like to say congratulations to our graduates. Yay! Great job. Way to persevere. Yay! And now, the graduates of HVAC Installation and Residential Service. Zachary Thomas Bros. Jake Austin Howell. Brandon J. Dahlgren. Andrew Jacob Erickson. Colton Lane Erickson. Tucker Stephen Jensen. Jacob Christopher Coppendrayer. Nicholas Tolman Lund. Vincent Michael Wallman. And now the graduates of HVACR Systems Servicing. Harley Garrett Anderson. Jacob Eber Anderson. Thomas Allen Boudreau. Jason Michael Hand. Effing Ethan Kong. Abdullahi Omar Muhammad. Andrew Robert Pereira. Gerald Robert Piazza. Calvin Ricky Sanders. Elizabeth K. Steeler von Heidenkamp. Sean Christopher Streit. Timothy Carl Swanson. 
Hong Bang. Chantel Marie Volker. Anthony Franklin White. Congratulations, graduates from the HVAC program. On behalf of all the faculty members, I want to congratulate you on this milestone and wish you the best as you begin your career. Congratulations. And now the graduates of interior design. Ashley Nicole Budig. Jasmine Charisse Conley. Chloe Marie Erickson. Janelle Ray Eskelson. Samantha Siver X. Megan Elizabeth Pike, Abby Marie Yurok, Julie Lowe, Anna Therese Metzmaker, Lexi Katerina Munez, Jessica Shannon Powers. Congratulations, graduates in the interior design program. On behalf of all the faculty members, I want to congratulate you on this milestone and wish you the best in your careers. You're all doing great. Yay! Yay! Congratulations! And now the graduates from Land Surveying. Tabitha Nicole Chesser. Jeffrey Scott Cornell. And now the graduates from Surveying and Civil Engineering Technology. Tyler James McKenzie. Troy M. Mickelson. John Patrick Stark, Jr. On behalf of Dunwoody College of Technology and the faculty and staff in the Civil Surveying Program, I want to congratulate the graduates of the Class of 2021. There you go, everyone. Yay! Good job, yay! And now the graduates from Graphic Design and Production. Jake C. Burnett. Sabelle Natasha Conradi. Laura Lynn Erickson. Emma Jules Hall. Jason Burnett Hetland, Jonathan Samuel Corum, Suzanne Erickson Limpy, Michael Riley Mingo, Ella Aaron Robeck, John Christopher Stichcha, Nathan Tazel. Jeru Teppen, Cody Dennis Van Dyke, Brandon Michael Van Houten, Seth Irwin Williams, Cassidy Louise Young. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Dunwoody College, I want to congratulate all the graduates from Graphic Design and Production on this milestone and wish you the best as you begin your career. Congratulations. Yay! Way to Yay. Go. Yay! Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. And now the graduates from the Radiologic Technology Program. Cassandra Catherine Balo, Jaden Marie Buzik, Cornicia Bianca Gonzalez, Kaylee Hannah Johnson, Jason Ricky Lilja, Anna Marie Lilladal, Craig Matthew Lyons. Leanne Nicole Ponsness, Allison Marie Rankin, 
Megan Lee Sangiovanni, Amanda Rochelle Schmeckel. On behalf of the Rayleigh Logic Technology Department, congratulations to the class of 2021. Woo! Congratulations, everybody! Congratulations! And now the graduates from Automated Systems and Robotics. Carl Robert Ackerman. Theodore Malcolmus Belfons. Dristen Colin Matthew Bien. Samuel Jacob Chermack. Brett John Doman. Parker Timothy Hartle. Talon Gabriel Kilgore. Amelia Marie Cohn. John Daniel Kumpf. Grace Mary Luke. Jeffrey Patrick Michael. Dominic Anthony Nassif. Andrew T. Rose. Andrew Peter Schippel. Austin Allen Sunday. Joseph Taylor. Jonathan Vang. Michael Stephen Wilmus. And now the graduates from Design for Manufacturing, 3D Printing. Andrew Jameson McDonald. Michael James Splett. And now the graduates from Electronics Engineering Technology. Jonah Evan Berg. Ahmad Dalton. Brendan Nicholas Groff. Nicolar Tu. Daniel Mark Knobloch. Daniel J. Mulatto. And now the graduates from Electronics Technology. Christopher John Corman. Tyler Andrew Reber. And now the graduates from the Electronics Technology Certificate. Nasu Adesh Ramlakan. Shia Vang. And now the graduates from Engineering, Drafting, and Design. Tristan Tyrone Bernard. Eric John Fodstead. Jerry Rand Gaffney. Andrew James Heisler. Dawson Godfrey Hughes. Nock Khan Lee. Riley Eugene Luth. Cody Allen McPhee. Mitchell Alexander McKeever. Mauricio Mirafuentes Martinez. Jacob Thomas Moore. Trevor Rill Osborne. Stacy Lynn Ostrowski. Will Nicholas Schindler. Mitchell Stoltz. John Edwin Heisberg. And now the graduates from Industrial Controls. Carrion Hodges. And now the graduates from Industrial Controls and Robotics. Eric David Anderson. Spencer Mark Benton. Isabel Carolyn Brady. Joseph Scott Hanslick. Richard Charles Herbst. Cody Mitchell Knudsen. Ethan John Mark. Jason Andrew 
Markham. James Edward McDonald. Chad Alexander McNamara. Andrew Daryl Narag. Valerie Pham. Tyler Curtis Schroeder. Jonathan Michael Shields. Elizabeth Rose Smithson. Mark James Williams. Logan Gianthony Wright. Caleb Hunter Yagoda. And now the graduates from Machine Tool Technology. Luke Jeffrey Byer. Joseph Charles Bredesen. David Allen Jasmine. Matthew Ryan Kilpatrick. Samuel Norman Lures. Jacob Richard McKay. Julio Massimo Pavoloni. Mark Antonio Schlieff. Paul Foss Thielman. Aaron David Thorson. Orion Anthony Vaughn Diacampo. And now the graduates from Welding and Metal Fabrication. Lillian Grace Crawford. Jake Thomas Herzog. Carson Harris Cavant. Maverick John Daniel Olbixen. Peter Smith. Kenneth Dahlin Zoller. And now the graduates from Welding Technology. Nicholas Jack Forsha. Keenan Dane Germanson. Dennis Arnie Golson. Julianne Priscilla Herzog. Julian Christian Medved. Nicholas Warren Parent. Carter Jerome Roaring. Max Armando Romain. Elias Isaiah Salisbury. Mason J. Schuster. Cody William Teese. Rebecca Nicole Wells. William Charles Zaver. On behalf of the Robotics and Manufacturing Department, congratulations to the class of 2021. Right. Congratulations. congratulations. And now, the graduates of our Industrial Engineering Technology degree program. Jeremy Scott Berg. Maxime Sebastian Berger. Stephen Matthew Rogetsky. Michael Stephen Bowie. Alan Michael Canzanieri. Aaron M. Dahlquist. Alexander J. Hartzler. Nicholas Tyler Harvey. Ado Krevdek. Vladimir and Televik Luyuk. Betty Fang Mecklen. Stephen David Meyer. Nicholas Andrew Mitchell. Elsie Payan Burgos. Marshall Charles Shepposter. Brett A. Schrader. Jesse James Sullivan, Charlie Gerald Sunder, Eric D. Swarm, Tyler 
Lee Tucker. Tanner Anthony Worsham. And now the graduates of our mechanical engineering degree program. Justin Logan Grant. Roy Anthony Hegerness. Thomas P. Oldenburg. Elizabeth Rivas. And now, our first graduating class of software engineers. Andrew Brian Estep. Ethan James Cunell. Eli Jonathan Lindahl. Benjamin Olawashigu Owala. James Donald Reamer. Anthony John Thompson, Jr. Jordan Davis Todhunter. Brendan Cole Van Devorde. On behalf of myself and the School of Engineering faculty, I want to offer our congratulations on your degree completion at Dunwoody. This is an accomplishment that you should be very proud of. You are now among a strong group of Dunwoody alumni making a difference in the industries and communities you're working in. We know your families are as proud of you as we are. We wish you the best as you leave Dunwoody and begin your engineering careers. Graduates of the class of 2021, at this time, please move the tassel on your cap to the left to signify your status as a graduate. Good luck, graduates. Thank you for attending Dunwoody, and welcome to the proud group known as Dunwoody Alumni. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021.